But it looks like we're going to start off with um, back taps on T side and Quantum Max will be on CT. And it, so far it does look like uh, back taps will be taking mid control and working their way towards A. Punable takes out Steep. Zom with 5 HP. Back tap, slow pushing towards A, getting picked off one by one. And they're just waiting. They're waiting for something to happen. Something decisive. And Quantum X, knowing that they're there, just, just waiting for them to push. Being very passive. And that's how these professional games should be played. Very passively. And Punable does take out Larve. Antique already on the rotate towards mid. Catches the player off guard. Takes out Zexer. Now has mid control. And I'm pretty sure Bomb is somewhere on A. So he is going to try and retrieve it. If not, he's probably going to work towards B. Because B site is completely open right now. It's going to be a 1v3 Antique. Currently at Truck. Potentially finds another player. And he does. General goes down. Now in a 1v2 situation. Both players very low. This is very possible. And Zom catches him off guard. That's going to be the piss around for Quantum X. Now, when you are playing counter blocks competitively, early game is usually the most uh, one sided side potentially. The reason why I say that is because of the one-tapping mechanisms that the P2K has and the USP has compared to the Glock. Um, and just the range it personally has. Uh, the range on the USP and the P2K um, can one-tap one an enemy from a very long distance. And therefore, the CTs have a better advantage in early game. So the first couple rounds are most likely going to go towards Quantum X just because of the one tap advantage and the range that they have. Other than that, um, if quant uh, if back taps can pos potentially bring it back with the right strategy, the right picks, then they could potentially bring this game back, this early game back into their hands. And uh, so far, it does look like it's going to be a fair four v four. Back taps will have full control mid, and they're going to be working towards B. Sam Reese. Takes one out, but he gets straight up by Larve. Zexer on site gets taken out by Antique. And now it's going to be a 2v2 retake. General takes out Antique. And now Larve in a 1v1. He's going to plant the bomb here. And he gets it. But Punable just takes him out before he can do anything else. Like I said again, uh, this... this uh, Early game is always CT sided. It always will be. And I don't think uh, Quantum X will be able to lose this early game that, that easily. They are a very organized team. And they know what they're doing. They they know how to play their sites. Play for picks. And they are, pa they are passively trying to win this early game. Back taps right now. They're just trying. They're trying to build up their economy right now. They just bought. I'm. I'm not sure why. They should have been saving. They got bomb plant, but it looks like they do have AKs. And uh, we'll see how this goes out. They're gonna boost one up mid. Looks like they're gonna be taking a mid control pick right now. SV is able to take out Sam Reese at checkers. Bonable so holding on sight. Steep working towards A main, pre firing and knowing that there could be a potential enemy there. Zom is going to be pushed up mid aggressively. He is going to try and pick a fight there. Humor is currently peeking. Knowing that he's cat, tries and takes him out. Can't really find him though. Punable just shoulder peeks it. Now he has the information that Humorous is there. And it looks like they are. Vactaps will be working towards A. Zom boosted up to vents, takes out SV, steep with the trade. Punable now on site. All they need to do is just simply hold. They have B control, they also have A control. All they need to do is just hold. Does look like Vactaps, do you have control of B? Or, the, or uh, Quantum Max left B completely open. 
Steep is able to take out Zexer. He is going to find Punable on site. And it looks like they are going to be working towards B. B side is going to be completely open with the over rotation there. 20 seconds left. Bomb is going to go down. Quantum Max still playing very passive. They can still potentially win this uh, 2v3. Steep is able to find General. And Pondal now in a 1v3. He's known for these victories. But it looks like Antique will deny that for today. It's going to be 2-1. And it looks like Vactaps is able to bring this early game back. They now have AKs. It does seem like um, Quantum X will be on a buy round. But they are pretty, pretty poor. So this could affect their late game. And their mid game. But uh, we'll see. Sam Reese with the Mag 7. This is a rare occasion in Pro League. Zom is going to take mid control again. He is going to have a quarter of the mid, the mid side. General is going to be pushing Amy. Knowing that there's no one there, he's going to give that information to his team. Larv already pushed up towards B. Is trying to find a player. Finds Zexer. Bomb is going to be planted. And it's going to be a 3v4 retake for Quantum X. As we find Zom, Pondable, and General now last alive. General is going to be flanking. And Pondable is going to be waiting for a coordinated push right now. He's waiting for a push. And now they are going to be pushing together. General backs off though. Not sure why he did that. Now it's going to be 2v2. It's going to be a fair fight. And T confused on what's going on. Humorous finds Pondal. Now it's going to be a 1v1 general against Antique. Picks up the AK. Finds his head at headshot. But there is no time left. So he's going to run away. Saving the AK for his team. So it's going to be 2 all. And uh, it, it's a very close game so far. Potentially. I feel like this game will be close. Just looking at both teams. They're, both of their rosters are pretty, pretty evened out. As you can see from the score. They're all pretty... Pretty uh, evenly matched, so uh, I'm I'm thinking that um, back taps will come on top in this game. I don't know what the score is, but I'm gonna go with the 16, 13, or 16, 14. Just because I feel like back taps is just a more organized team. There are some players on Quantum X who are very experienced, so I I feel like Quantum X will have that advantage. But just the organization that back taps has. And the chemistry that they have compared to Quantum X is, is superb. So it looks like Vactaps will be able to find mid. They have full control of mid right now. And it looks like they will be working towards B. They're all just playing openly right now. Trying to find picks. And that is what you should be doing in Pro League. Trying to find picks. In general, not, not sure what he was doing there. But he just ran, in, ran to his death. Lara finds his extra on site and Antique takes out Pundle and that's going to be another round. The economy is going to look a little scarce on uh, on Quantum X's side so they're going to need to be either force buying or potentially saving or eco round on eco round so they can buy next. And it does look like they're, they are going to be eco round on an eco round so Let's see how well that that plays out. Back tabs does look like they are uh, pretty rich. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing too special. Go to be working towards B. Steep picks off Sam, punishes them for that 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 peak, and that's gonna be full B control for back taps. Steep going to pu going to be pushing tree room with a knob. General and Punable always the last one's alive. And again, gets taken out. Punable now in a 1v5. It's always these two players that are last alive on Quantum Max. General and Punable. And SV will be finding Punable. And that's going to be another round for back taps. 
So this early game is not going towards Quantum X. They're not very... They're not, it doesn't look like they're strong enough to win this early game. So mid game will be a little hectic for them, but we'll see when the, 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 the half switch, when they switch halves. So... And again, it looks like Quantum X will be able to buy this round. Um, back taps are again very wealthy. And I believe they will be able to last all the way through mid game into late game. Which will be kind of problematic for Quantum X. Again, back taps are going to play this smart. SV is able to find, Zom to find Zom. Humorous now pushing up mid. And that is going to be full mid control again for back taps. This mid control is very hectic for, hectic for uh, Quantum X. They're losing it like crazy. They need to find a f figure out a way to, to potentially take mid. Because they can't just be losing it like this. Now they can just go towards wherever site they want. Zexo gets taken out by SV. And that's going to be another round. Very unfortunate right now. So it's going to be a 5-2 lead for Quant for uh, back taps. And it looks like Quantum X will be on another eco round. So we'll see how this plays out. But so far, back taps is the superior right now. They have the money. They have the rounds. They have the the strategy and just just the patience to be able to push these sites. For example, they're taking mid control like it's nothing, and then now they're just waiting at mid. But knowing that there is going, there are on an eco round. They're going to be playing very passive right now, hoping that they would push them instead, which is exactly what they want. And as you can see, that works out very well. And again, they are going to take mid control. And it's going to be a 1v4 situation for Sam Reese. He's going to be right behind their backs. Hoping to catch one off guard. And he does. Takes out Humorous. He's going to pick up the AK. And it's going to be a 1v3 situation right now. It is still winnable. But Antique denies that. And it's going to be another round for back taps. Quantum X, very disorganized right now. They're gonna need to, like, in my opinion, I, they're gonna need to figure out a way to, to take mid. If they're gonna keep losing that mid control, they're gonna eventually lose the game. Because this is not going very well for them. We'll see how they do on uh, Terra's side, but right now, CT's, their, their CT side won't be victorious today. And as you can see from the scoreboard, um,. Quantum X is going to be on another buy round, a force round this time. They're going to have rifles. Back taps, very, very wealthy. And it looks like they will be pushing towards B. Taking full control of B, that, that means that they're going to take sight and potentially plant the bomb. Yes, it is. It's going, going to go down. 44 retake right now. This is going to be problematic for Quantum X. They're going to need to do something right now. They're all clustered in CT right now. Antique finds Zom. Punnable goes to try and find a pick on to Antique. General takes him out though. SV takes a kill on General. Sam Reese now in a 1v1. And SV denies that and saves another round for... For Vac Taps. It looks like it's going to be another buy run coming in from uh, from Quantum X. And it seems very, very one-sided so far. And it seems Vactaps will be taking mid control again. This mid control is going to get out of hand, I believe. Just from personal prediction. And just from the previous rounds. Sam Reese does find Steep though, that could be a very important pick. Zom is going to find a player at mid, takes him out, gets traded up by Asvi. And that is going to be mid control again. If they just keep, if, if Quantum Axe keeps giving up mid, they're going to eventually lose this game. I'm not sure why they're they're just giving up mid so easily. Zaxxer saves his teammate from Asvi. 
Antique is going to try and find a kill. Takes out General. And Zexer. Turns this 3v2 into a 2v1. Punable, now the last man alive, is going to hold sight. Knowing that, that he's there though, Vactaps will be rotating towards B. Punable, not sure if he realizes that, but he is still going to be anchoring A site. And I think he, yeah, I think he realizes that. Now he's going to be rotating towards B. That sound cue comes in. They're going to be planting the bomb. Punable now in a 1v2 retake situation. Humorous is going to be holding mid. He has full control over mid right now. Punable won't be going that way though. It is going to be peeking tree. Finds Antique. This is problematic. Humorous now in checkers. Pretty sure it's planned for open. All he needs to do is just play for time. Punable is going to try and clear sight. He does clear it and is going to fake the defuse. Humorous is not going to fall for it. And eventually finds Punable in the end. So yeah, it looks like uh, Vactaps will be able to win this first half, but we'll see how Quantumax does on uh, on their terrorist side. Looks like Vactaps again will be taking mid. Quantumax is going to leave full control of mid. And we'll see how well that plays out. Zom tries to peek middle, but Humorous takes him out. And this is going to be another mid control pick from Vactap. It's been working out very well, and they're just going to keep doing it until until it doesn't work. But it looks like it will, will eventually work until the side switch. Again, it's going to be a 2v5 situation. Punable and Sam. Now gonna be punable. Last man alive. 1v5. Doesn't look like he's going for the defuse. He's gonna just try and save this MP9. Looks like anything will be useful for Quantum Max right now. Steep is going to try and push him middle. Punable does find him, catches him off guard, doesn't finish the kill. And he gets taken out by Humorist. 9 to 4 vac taps. That is a very he, uh, a large leading scoreline right now. And uh, I believe vac taps will be able to bring this out on top if they remain consistent. But uh, it looks like Quantum Max will be on the save round or an eco round. Yep, they will be on an eco round and uh, we'll see how this plays out. See if they change anything new. It looks like they're going to be playing default with with uh, pistols, so that's going to be interesting. Game is going to be favored for for back taps right now, though. General is going to push mid. Quantum Max has control of mid this game. We'll see how this plays out. This could be the game right here. General does start lagging at the wrong time. Very bad time to lag. Back taps will be pushing up towards B main. Humorous takes out Sam Reese. SV with, takes out Zom. Looks like they're going to work towards B. SV will be holding vents. And the hold is going to be delayed. Punnable takes out two with a shotgun. Zexer gets a kill on SV. Now it's going to be 2v3 situation. General does find a guy at truck. Trying to take him out. His teammates will be on his way though. Antique backs off. 21 HP. Humorous in heaven. That full control of CT. Zaxer takes out Humorous. And now Antique is in a 1v3 situation. He can easily take B site. Both of the players are, are as low as him. He does have an AK which is an advantage. Does look like he is going to be a little bit passive here, waiting for something to happen. 21 HP, can't get him much done. But he will try 
and find a pick that's look that, that's seeming what it that looks like what he's trying to do right now. He's just trying to get a pick right now. He's not going to try and win. And Pando will take some out with a shotgun. That shotgun is able to save and break that streak of, of back taps. So that's going to be a buy round for Quantum X. The back taps still very, very wealthy. They're going to be able to buy it until, until we start the half switch. So that's going to be convenient for them. And again, they're going to go with the mid pick, trying to mid, mid, take mid control. Zom does spot a player B main, isn't going to peek it. Again, Quant Quantum Max is going to be a little bit more passive this time. They are going to give up mid. Once again, Punable with the Nova. Steep takes out Zom. And just the trades coming in from both sides. Punable does dig humors from, from A site with a Nova. And now it's going to be a fair fight, a 2v2. Humor is now very low. Punable at 100. Zaxer going to be rotating back to tree. Potentially trying to find Humorous down mid. And that's what he will try and do. SV inside A main. Going to run open handed to sight. Finds SV. Humorous now in a 1v2. 13 HP. Punable can easily just, just kill him from A side with that shotgun. Whiffs the shot though. Smoke will be coming in and the flash. 25 seconds left. He is going to try and play for mistakes and it does look like Punable will take him out. That Nova is going to save Quantum Max's half. I'm telling you man. So it does look like Punable's single hand handed shotgun will be able to bring back these rounds for Quantum X. Again, back taps are very wealthy, so they will be able to buy for the next couple rounds until this half is over. And they are going to be focusing on B. They're gonna pinpoint their their objective on B. Steep does find Zexer caught off guard. Punable again on site. Dinks two players but gets taken out by SV. Now it's going to be 3v5. 3v5 retake. Very pro problematic for, for Quantum X. Zom does find, find Steep in checkers though. Does find SV. Potentially third kill but Zom gets taken out by Antique. Denies that, that third kill for him. Now it's going to be 2v3. Humorous. To attempt to get a kill, but General Kiss, what is this? That lag. From General. That is. That is not. That is not a good thing. It could potentially cost the game. But uh, we'll see how the staff. Uh, how the staff handled that. That was a huge lag spike from General. That that he did get a kill off of that. Um, I I don't I don't think that should be should be a big deal, but it could still jeopardize a game. But uh, we'll we'll leave that for the RSO staff and directors to make that decision. So uh, yeah, it does look like it's gonna be uh, the last round of the half. Steep is going to go down to Sam at mid. Quantum X will have full control of mid this round. Sam takes out another humorous. But SV denies that. Now they have mid control. But they don't have that man advantage. That they usually have. SV is going to find general and Zom. That's going to be two kills. Now 
Now they, they decide to take A. They have the man advantage. And they have that, that, that map control. Quantum Max now on the rotate. Very late rotate though. Larb does find a player. Whiffs the shot though. Zaxer will be pushing up highway. Gets taken up by Antique. And Lara finishes Punta before before he can do anything else. And that's going to be an 11 for first half for back taps. Now we'll see how well they do on on uh, CT. If back taps can win this early early game for second half, then they can easily win this game. And Quantum Max needs to figure out a way to prevent that from happening. But it does look like they are going to be doing a full B rush right now with Glocks and Utility. Two of the Vactap players will be sitting on site playing passive, waiting for him to push, which is a smart thing. But they need to keep in mind that there's Peekers advantage. Sam Reese with his knife out. Not sure why he would be doing that. And it does look like Quantum X will have full control of B, but the bomb isn't going to go down. And that is going to be punished in a 1v3 situation for Punable, and that's going to be the first piss around for Quantum, for Vactaps. And the bomb was apparently in spawn. Miscommunication there. Like I said at the beginning of the game, uh, Quantum X isn't that organized. They're not very um, coordinated. And that's why it will cost them this game in rounds such as that. They had full control of sight, but they did not have bomb, and that's why they lost that round. They could have planted the bomb, and it would have been it would have made everything a bit easier for them. But um, they'll be forced to be buying pistols and and SMGs for this round. Looks like they will be working towards A though. A full push again. Sam Reese. Is going to take, be taken out by C. SV just in the back of Toxic. Taking out players one by one. That's going to be another round potentially for back taps. Puddable takes out two. Now in a 1v4 situation. He needs to get a 4k in order to win this for his team. Gets the MP9. Not sure where Bomb is. But he does look like it does look like Puddable will be rotating back. I think he does have bomb. And they are going to play very split up right now. Vactaps will be having one player on B. He's going to rotate back after that sound cue. Puddle just playing his time right now. Very low. SV has that advantage. It looks like Punable will be backing off and rotating towards B site. I think he does have bomb. Larv does find that sound cue. He's he is going to be rotating. But Punable runs another fake and goes back to A. Not knowing that he is NBK, he is going to get taken out by SV. And that's gonna be another round for back taps. Quantum X, they need to figure out a way to to fix this. This is not this is not going well for him. Does look like this game will be going to back taps, but if if Quantum X could potentially bring the rounds back, they could still have a chance in this bit. So far, it looks like it's very low. SV does take out Zom, and that is going to be a massacre for for Quantum X. SV with three kills gets traded up with Punable at steep. Still trying to find that player down mid. Pretty sure he rotated it off. Punable and Zex are now working towards B. Gets that sound cue, that means everyone in back taps will know that where they are and they're going to start rotating and this is going to be very problematic. They need to push. Quantum Axe needs to push, otherwise they're going to they're gonna get another loss. It looks like it will be another loss. Zex are now in a 1v4 situation with an SMG. Isn't going to find that kill. And it's going to be 14-4 for back taps.
And looking from the scoreline, it does look like Quantum X will be on a save round. It's either they can save this round or they can buy for the win, but it doesn't look like they're, they are going to win. So it looks like they will be going for the tie. Or not! It looks like they will be buying, in fact. And, uh, yeah. They are going to be focusing their point of entry towards A. And Antique finds that kill. Pushing, being aggressive towards A main. Trying to get a wall bang here, or not. And it just looks like they're just playing for picks, just playing for time, but it doesn't look like anyone's towards B. So they could potentially rotate from B here, but that's, it looks like it's going to be favoring back taps. Sam Reese now in a 1v5, takes out 1, takes out 2, potentially 3, maybe not. But he does have an AK and the bomb in his hand, in his hand so this will be a very interesting round. Still very winnable. Is going to be a little bit patient here. Humor is going to be holding A main. And he gets taken out by Steep. It's going to be a 15-4 lead for, for back taps. Quantum X is going to have some trouble trying to, to bring this game back. SV with the top rank, 28 kills. As you can see, there is a big uh, scale difference right here. Based on the scoreboard. And it is going to be match point for Vactaps. Vactaps will be able to win this if they can pull off this round. Lar does get a kill on Zom. And there's the Q for B. Does look like the players will be being passive still. There's no mid control for, for Quantum X. So there won't be a very fast rotation here. It does look like they will be very passive towards B main, which is not a good thing. I am pretty sure that majority of the VACTAP players know that they're somewhere around B and mid garage. They will try and work towards B now. Steep, now in tree with an op. Whiffs a shot, misses. They're all trapped right now. And that is not a good thing. It, is, it looks like it's going to be game for, for Vactaps. And there goes the game. There goes the round. Zexer just gives it away. Doesn't even attempt to try it. And that is going to be a victory for Vactaps. 16-4.